Welcome back everybody and it's time for yet another video. This time we're going to hit the road with Euro Truck Simulator. So strap in all my big rig boys and lorry lads because it is time to hit the road in Germany. That's what we picked for the gameplay here. And the gameplay is mostly just going to be driving. I mean that's literally what you do in the game. Uh, you're driving a semi truck. Or in Euro Truck Simulator. A, uh, a lorry, I believe, is the um, term the British the British people use for it. And uh, all the trucks are them uh, flat nose style semi trucks in this game. Uh, American Truck Simulator has a a bit more of the uh, long nose. Everywhere from the shorter long nose semi trucks are probably pretty simple to navigate, at least compared to classic ones. But it also does have the classic curb sniffers, as I I've heard them referred to. Uh, I have a lot of hours in American Truck Simulator. We'll probably do a video on it at some point, but I have a lot of hours in American Truck Simulator. And, uh, I like my curb sniffer. That thing is mm, just right. It is the truck for me. But anyhow, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Euro Truck Simulator. So this game is quite a bit older, a lot less feature sets, and, uh, well, it's a simulator. I don't know what it is about simulators, but, uh, I guess we're doing simulators lately. Um, but yeah. So, what is the goal point? The goal point's really simple. You're a trucker. You're a lorry lad. You're a fucking big rig boy. You know, you're trying to make some money driving the old semi-truck. Hitting the road. Following the law. Your semi truck doesn't even seem to be limited as far as how fast it can go. Um, the HUD is pretty unintrusive, honestly. It really, uh, it really gives you some some of the most basic information. And that's about it. You'll notice I keep popping up the map because there's no GPS. There's no in-game built-in GPS system. So uh, at least none that I know how to set up in this particular game. Your or American Truck Simulator has a GPS system. It's fucking great. It's so much easier. I know how to turn on cruise control. It's really shoot and forget. You know, that one has controller support, so the steering is so much smoother. This one didn't seem to have controller support. Uh, you'll see a part where I hopped back and forth between the nav a little bit to uh, see if I could play with the controller to get better steering going on. That did not work. That's fine. So you're stuck using the mouse and keyboard for this one. The mouse is going to control like where your dude is looking. So you can look around the cab and stuff. You got to do that to check your mirrors and whatnot. You'll also probably notice I pretty much ignore the mirror on the right side of the truck. I ain't worried about that mirror. Who needs it? We don't need mirrors where we're going. We're hitting 88 miles an hour. Going straight to the mountains in Japan. Anyhow. Anyhow. Mechanically speaking though, this game is a simulator. And it's pretty, pretty solid one. It's older. Its age definitely shows. It doesn't look as good as uh, the second, second game in the series, or even, or the American Truck Simulator, or any of that. But it does look pretty, pretty passable. It's passable, is what I'll say. Um, as far as like the gameplay mechanics and stuff, it's solid, solid enough. I, uh, I have no issues or complaints with it, and. Uh, like, the steering's a bit rough, and it feels a little flo floaty at times. That said, I've never driven a big rig in real life, so I don't know how these flat-nosed big rigs feel when you're driving in real life. For all I know, it's a spot-on accuracy. For all I know, it's a video game exaggeration. But the whole point is just to take jobs, make money, buy better trucks. The same thing as all of them, except American Truck Simulator. You can hire people, buy more trucks, put those people in trucks. Dude, let me tell you. But in American Truck Simulator, you don't start off with enough money to buy your own truck, so that's also a thing. At least I don't think you did. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I do recommend the game uh, if you're into that kind of thing. I find with these trucking simulators, like it, I think it's like a really weird thing to be into, you know. But like I find a specific kind of zen in these games, you know, like they're they're really relaxing, really satisfying. You know, it's like kind of, it's kind of something that you really can just kind of zone out a little bit, you know? Like, obviously you have to pay attention to what you're doing, but it's, I mean, it's a video game at the end of the day. 
And I mean, Euro Truck Simulator, you can, psh, bro, you could be big rigging for five bucks. You know what you can't do for five bucks? Buy a real semi truck. <laughs> but you can buy this. Honestly, really, uh, really a good deal, honestly, for it, for the game. I think I got it on sale, actually, for like a dollar or something. But, like, there's a lot of game here. It is a little Spartan as far as quality of life and features and stuff. But with that said, I'm not sure if there's a button for cruise control. I didn't really, you know, navigate the keyboard all too much here. Um, so there might very well be a cruise control button. But, like, you got to turn your lights on at night, you know. You got to sleep every so often. You got to get gas. You got to manage that stuff. You got to keep your truck in good shape. If you're driving around hitting shit, it's going to add up. Eventually, your truck's going to stop working. And then what's going to happen? You're going to stop working. You know what happens when you stop working? You don't make money. You know what happens when you don't make money? Well, nothing. Nothing good anyway. So, in order to prevent that end game end scenario, you want to keep your truck in good shape, keep yourself in good shape, keep your fuel tanks topped off, and you should be alright. Um, a lot of the information about your truck outside of damage is going to actually come from the truck's dashboard itself. It's a nice touch. It really is. It makes it it forces you to familiarize yourself with the dashboard of your vehicle, which I think is pretty cool. Which, honestly, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of simulating simulation games that involve driving that just give you everything outright, and this ain't one of them. You know, I I think even American Truck Simulator get, has like a it has like a GPS style HUD that I believe even gives you how much fuel you have at a given moment right there and it's like as much as i enjoy that game and has how much and as as many quality of life uh features and such are in that little hud right there where a gps would be i feel like it's too much information i feel like the dashboard has a, a good amount of the information that i need from that you know all i really need from that is to tell me you know how far away am i from my destination show me the GPS map so that I know where I'm going and I guess tell me the condition of my truck and this and the uh, the uh, trailer tell me how damaged is my truck and my cargo from hitting stuff you know and if you you know if you spend the time and get decent at the game you shouldn't even be hitting stuff in the first place so you should be good on that front because hitting stuff costs money never mind the fact that you can't fraction tickets i believe in this game i didn't get any which is shocking i'm pretty sure i was hauling a lot of ass for at least some of the areas that i was in especially for the size of the vehicle but hey it is what it is no issues no complaints not out of me anyway um but yeah for five bucks you can't really go wrong it is very positive on steam 80 percent overall which is pretty solid you know, and like, I'm gonna say it again, it's five dollars. Like, it, it's not gonna kill you to pick it up and give it a try if you're curious. Now, that said, it's ob absolutely not for everybody. So, if you're not curious, then, I don't know, you're probably not still watching this video. Probably didn't even click on it in the first place, if I'm being honest. But, yeah, I, I also do believe there's a mod scene for this game in particular. Uh, I know American Truck Simulator has a mod scene, but I believe this one also does. I can't imagine this one doesn't. And, yeah, I think that's really all we're going to say here. You know, I don't really have a whole lot else to say. Oh, I do have one more thing to say. Parking your trailer with just your mirrors, that's rough. That's rough, bro. Let me say that right now. Shout out to anyone who drives a big rig. Like, for real. You know, all jokes and, and, and funnies aside, like, you folks that drive these big rigs for real, you're doing a real service, my dudes. You know, like, it, it's, I, I have a hard time backing up my fucking Pontiac Grand Am into a parking spot. I can't fathom part backing up even, like, a Suburban with a boat on the back, in a trailer on the back or something, let alone a big rig with a 40-foot trailer, you know with my entire livelihood stuck in there because if I fuck up, there goes my paycheck or some shit. The amount of just stress. I imagine you get to a point where it's just like, whatever, beep, beep, and you're good. You know, fucking legends. 
absolute legends. And to those of you out there who are not semi-truck drivers, be courteous to these poor guys. They can't stop as fast as you can. Stop cutting them off, man. That's a great way to get hit. Stop cutting off the semi-trucks. They're big. They will eat you. In the event that that's what has to happen, they will eat you. And it ain't gonna be pretty. And you don't want it. They don't want it. Those poor dudes don't need that. You don't need that. You know? Be respectful. Be kind on the road. You know? Stay out of the passing lane unless you're passing. And all that other jazz. As far as everything else, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Be nice. Love one another. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And to grief that bell button a little bit if you'd like to. Maybe dislike it if you think I've earned it. And until next time, I will fucking see you later.